do you feel like modern hard drives are complete garbage? Or perhaps that you just have a supernatural talent for picking the shittiest brands? Do your hard drives, the ones you store all your photos on, suffer from premature failure syndrome? Have you become used to the terrifying click were crunch loop of a dying external hard drive. If this rings a bell and you're also an Adobe Lightroom Classic user who gets through hard drives like they're disposable coffee cups, then I may have a few answers for you. With a couple of very simple changes, you can not only massively reduce the wear and tear on your external hard drives, but also greatly improve the entire performance of Adobe Lightroom. Turns out your hard drives aren't suicidal, they're just being worked to death. Yes, the odds are that if you are an Adobe Lightroom Classic user, then it's actually Lightroom and its catalog system that's murdering your external hard drives. You may be further surprised to learn that Adobe understood this issue and did in fact make changes to the app all the way back in 2013, because that's when they first introduced Smart Previews. The reason your hard drives fail so consistently is that you are putting the long-term cold storage under constant stress Firstly, because Lightroom is constantly accessing the full resolution original images. And secondly, because it's thrashing the catalog file that indexes everything. The solution is to stop the constant external hard drive access by moving your catalog file into an SSD, preferably on your laptop or PC's main drive, and then using smart preview functionality to view and edit significantly smaller files without requiring any access to those original RAWs. Smart previews are lossy DNG files that Lightroom can generate either during the original import process or at a later date. They retain enough quality in them to stand in for full resolution files, enabling you to edit them without needing to actually access the main files at all. Smart previews are stored alongside your main catalog's data files, and for this reason, that catalog needs to be stored either on your main SSD drive or alternatively on a very fast external SSD. The only advantage is that when you have smart previews enabled, you can edit your files anywhere. After you've finished all your editing, any changes that you make to those smart previews are synchronized across to the original photos the next time you plug your photo hard drive in again. So, in order to more efficiently use Adobe Lightroom Classic and not slowly but inexorably destroy your external hard drives, there are only three steps. Firstly, you need to enable smart previews in the preferences in Lightroom. Secondly, you need to move your catalog and its associated files off that external drive with your photos and onto your main internal SSD. You can still keep all your original photos on that big old external hard drive. They do not need to go anywhere. Thirdly, you need to generate smart previews for any images you might want to edit and to also enable smart previews by default when importing your photos. That's it. Now you could, of course, sidestep all these issues by simply ditching Lightroom Classic and using Lightroom CC instead. There are, however, myriad reasons why many of us choose to stick with Classic, not the least of which is, would you really trust your entire photo archive to a cloud service owned and managed by the company who said, AI will democratize creativity? Ethical considerations aside, I couldn't switch to Lightroom CC because I have 14 terabytes of photos and it would cost me 3,600 Australian dollars a year just to store them all in the creative cloud. So I'm sticking with the cold storage, big ass multi terabyte drives from Seagate, Western Digital, all the C, and smart previews for everyone. And that'll do us for this guide to saving your hard drives from a slow death at the hands of Lightroom Classic's catalog system. Are you wise to this particular feature of Lightroom? How many dead hard drives did it take before you worked it out? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you got value from this content, then do please give it a like, 
and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to my channel for more photo, video, and drone-related content from me. Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.